Page pulls fire. Wireless taken apart. Mate, I'm trying to unbox. I've literally just started. <laughs> We've got the uh, dongle. So it's got uh, HyperX written on it, it's about to say. Manuel. Nothing special. Give us some grip tape. Looks like a hexagon pad. Doesn't look too thick. You also get the uh, button ones as well, pretty nice. A lot of the same thickness, I think. Let's look. But you can see here the skates are, oh, they get a nice spare set. They're those weird shaped ones, maybe slightly rounded, but dongle with a rubber base so it doesn't move around. You dongle in there. USB C. Good so far. Unusual uh, dongle type style, but good. Cable feels a little bit stiff. Let's see what their grip tape weighs. is. High feet 0 0.8, 0 0.9 mil, so they're getting up there. It'll be around seven, seven, eight. But they are rounded a little bit. I'll show you here. You can tell. A bit too white. Maybe. They are rounded though. Although you could have rounded them slightly better, they're not. See how it's made. So that's what it looks like underneath. We've only got two screws, one each side here, but none at the top, it's good to see. So at least we've limited a little bit. It's a T6 then. Yeah, it's the same as a Starlight. So, um, yeah, that's one of the good parts about it. Maybe they don't like the texture. Like this one's got a little bit of a texture to it. I'm going to show you this lens. I'll show you a different lens, but it's got a slight bit of texture, but it almost feels smooth, really. Just put the same coating as the original one. Hell of a box. <laughs> Considering they got this down to 60 grams, not bad given the style. They are different switches, I thought they were. They're using the uh, black version, not the um, 30 mil, like they did in the other Hyperx, which I actually prefer. These are the 80 mil ones. I thought they felt a bit different, so I prefer the 30 mil and the original Hyperx. 
Yeah, it looks clean. Kind of put a protective cover on it, haven't I? I'm trying to do a bit of a weight reduction on it. Yeah, it looks clean though. They definitely thinned the shell out. Um, you can tell because of the flex, but that's good. Like, it didn't flex when it was built. Nice to see someone actually taking a bit of time and keeping it looking the same with a bit more of a, a tweaked shell. It's got a blue square, that's interesting. Yeah, easy to mod. That'll be coming off straight away. That that concerns me that it's not protecting the sensor a bit. We've got um, the side buttons were good. This is a good side button setup. You can see here these in kale, grey shell, red dots, which I can't say I'm a fan of. They should just put TTCs in it. I don't get why. Again, company again not using the same thing that we should do. That's got pretty good um, side buttons. Like that's really like you can see my pressure on it. That's like full pressure from my hand without breaking this part. So you're not going to get any mush in it. You could have put some slightly better side buttons, bigger ones on it, but that would have been good, I reckon. Uh, yeah, RGB here, mate, you can see it. You see the ribbon cable? That's RGB. And you can see the diffuser around it as well. All we'll do is ping this box off, put a bit of tape over the sensor because I know it's going to be funny. Happy days, but then I realise properly the side buttons are actually attached to it. So if you take this off, you lose the side buttons. Unless you cut down here somewhere, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And the side buttons, interestingly, are connected, which is different by this little. Uh, box, so I don't know. To be honest, a little bit more nervous about taking this one apart because these side buttons are quite precarious. They are extremely delicate, so uh, yeah, be careful with that. Take out the sack, so it looks like that. Definitely have to 3D print this if you want your side buttons, or you could maybe trim it a little bit. It's got like a little glue seal on it. So we might bend it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the easiest to come out. It is a 370 milli amp, 3.7 volt. Look about six grams I'm gonna go with here. Just making sure you're all awake. Ooh, okay, seven grams, better than I thought. Here's the uh, bit as well. Okay, so they pull out, I'll show you here. So it might be a bit easier than I thought it was. You can just pull these out. Still great on me that people are not using the same switches. Why, why not put TTCs in here? Why put KLs in it? Why? Why? Decent TTCs in it, man. 80 quid, $80 mouse, it should be using TTCs. world's tiniest ribbon cable. Oh man, this is, I'm not sure we're going to have to get this out. Well, we'll get it out. It's like something around oops, the sensor here, it's holding it in.
Interesting, they glued that down, I've not seen that before. <clears throat> it's got the same scroll wheel as the original one. using the 80 mil. What I can't tell is what the uh, encoder is. It, it, might, it looks like a TTC. I'm going to bring out the old man vision. TTC. So it's got a TTC 10 mil encoder. And they have this light, this like diode or it's on the back. It usually means the cheaper sensor, definitely. So we know that. LOD could be a concern. go nine grams nope <laughs> couple of screws in there now you got four screws on the buttons I feel like they've lightened up the plastic a bit on this build for this haze to get the weight out of it Check here, something else I've been doing recently, seeing if you can bend the physical button. It's a little bit given it, which means it's probably about two grams. Boom, see? Now we're starting to be able to tell how thick a button is. These are thin, about a gram. Just under. And the final bit, the shell. It's got two clips either side as you normally have. Like here and just focus like here and here. grams haze pulse fire wireless taken apart noise <laughs> 